From Hollywood, Jackie Cooper in The Unexpected. The Unexpected. The Unexpected. Life is filled with the unexpected, romantic, tragic, and mysterious endings to our most ordinary actions. Dreams come true, or dreams are shattered by sudden twists of fate in The Unexpected. And now, Jackie Cooper, famous motion picture and stage star in Rematch, a drama of The Unexpected. Yeah, I should look familiar to you. My face has been in the papers plenty of times. On the sport page and on the front pages, too. I'm Freddie Michaels, the Muskogee Kid. The next lightweight champ of the world. Or rather, I was. And I was news, mister. Big news. You might as well hear the story from the beginning. Because the papers haven't got it straight. About me or the fight. Or about Gloria, either. She wasn't like they say. She was sweet. And Lil and had big childlike blue eyes. I always had to be careful with Gloria for fear I'd crush her. I got strong arms, real strong. Oh, Freddie, Freddie, don't! You're hurting me. Oh, gee, honey, I'm sorry. I guess I don't know my own strength. Well, you might save a little of it for the fights, and maybe you'd win more often. Look, Gloria, I got a good record. I've only been whipped twice. Yeah, but you haven't fought anybody important. Just a bunch of little bouts. You can't make money that way. Do we always have to talk about money? Well, some people think it's important, especially when they want to get married. Okay, then I guess I'll have to give you the big news. Oh, Freddie, what news? Oh, come on, honey, tell me. Well, I was talking to my manager this AM. He's got something big all set up for me. The papers are ready to sign right now. I'm going to get a crack at the title. When, Freddie, when? Early this fall. Oh, how wonderful. I'm so happy. And you're going to be the champ, Freddie. You're going to be the champ. Yeah, I was going to be the champ. Have a lot of dough, a big car, make Gloria very happy. But it didn't turn out to be that simple. No, not with Nick, a guy who liked to bet on sure things, muscling in. Take it easy, kid. Don't wear yourself out. Hiya, Nick. What are you doing around here? Ah, oh, just a friendly visit. Just friendly. I like to watch you boys work out. Sometimes a guy can pick up a tip on how their fight's gonna go. If he keeps his eyes open. Oh, uh, this fight'll go my way. Donovan doesn't think so. Uh, Donovan won't last five rounds. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you won't. Get yourself a ringside seat, Nick. I'll knock him right in your lap. I wouldn't bet on it. Then I only bet sure things. Come on in the dressing room, kid. I want to talk to you. Well, I don't think we got anything to talk about, Nick. I told you I was going to win. Yeah, you told me. But I'm not convinced. This fight's worth a lot to you, isn't it, kid? Maybe five or ten Gs. If you're lucky and don't get whipped. That kind of money don't go too far these days. Suppose you uh, take it easy for the next few weeks and make 20 Gs, huh? You mean throw the fight? I mean take it real easy when you come up to Donovan and let him do all the work. Listen, Nick, I never thrown a fight yet, and I ain't gonna start now. I should have turned him down right then and there, reported him to the boxing commission and kept my gloves clean. But I was scared. Nick was a tough guy with a bad reputation, and 20,000 bucks was a lot of dough. 20,000 bucks? Oh, gee, Freddie, what did you say? What'd you tell him? Well, I, I haven't given him an answer yet, but I'm not going to take it, Gloria. You don't think I'd take a bribe? I'll get plenty for winning a fight. Yeah, if you win it. What do you mean, honey? Don't you believe in me? Oh, sure, I believe in you, all right. But like you say, there's no sure thing in prize fighting. Anybody can get beat. Besides, Freddy, I'm thinking about you. About me? No, I can take care of myself. Oh, sure you can, Freddy. But Donovan can take care of himself, too. And all the guys with beat-up faces and cauliflower ears, they thought they could take care of themselves, too. But it didn't work out the way they planned. Well, well, 
What do you want me to do, honey? Oh, that's up to you, Freddie. Entirely up to you. Maybe with 20,000 bucks, we could settle down somewhere, get a little farm and, and raise some chickens. But it's your business, Freddie. I don't want to influence your decision. I knew it was risky. If the boxing commission ever got tipped that I was going to take a dive, I'd be finished for life. But Nick was smart and had plenty of protection, and he paid off in advance. Oh, gee, Freddie, 20,000 bucks, isn't it wonderful? Now we can get that car I saw yesterday, and you know what? I've never had a fur coat, Freddie. Yeah. Not real fur. Oh, I wouldn't want mink or anything like that. <laughs> but maybe I could get a fox or, or a Persian lamb. Something not too expensive. Sure, sure, honey. You can have anything you want. For the next couple of weeks, we had a wonderful time, Gloria and I. But when the day of the fight rolled around, there wasn't too much dough left. I was beginning to get a little worried. It isn't easy to throw a fight, make it look good enough to convince the boxing commission. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience, that's the first round. So far, the boys have been feeling each other out. You know, Freddie Michaels doesn't seem to be up to his usual smashing form but tonight, but perhaps he's holding back, waiting for his opportunity, waiting for that single instant when he'll be able to cut loose with his murderous right. There's the bell, round two. Here they come again. You know, it's funny, but I never thought it would be so hard to lose a fight. Donovan was old and tired and out of shape. He hadn't landed a decent punch, and I'd let my guard down a dozen times. What did he expect me to do? Go in there and knock myself out? Or fall flat on my face whenever he danced by? There's Freddy again. He lands a neat left. Donovan hits the canvas. I kept saying over and over, get up. Get up, you fool. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. I just wanted to make it look real. Get up. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Donovan pulls himself to his feet. Now he's a changed man. He's swinging wildly. He lands a haymaker against Freddy's stomach and a left to his chin and right to his jaw. The kid's going down. Gloria had slapped me harder than that on our first date. But I closed my eyes, keeled over, and tried to look very unconscious. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and still champion, Chuck Donovan. For the next couple of days, I lay low. The newspapers said I'd been badly injured in the fight, but there wasn't any talk about a fix, so I figured I got away with it. For some reason, though, Gloria hadn't come around. I was beginning to get a little worried. So one evening, I went over to her place, just for a nice talk. At least I thought it was gonna be nice. I'm sorry, Freddy. I didn't know you were coming by or I wouldn't have made another date. Another date? Well, sure, you don't expect me to sit around here waiting for you, do you? You haven't even bothered to call since the fight. Well, gee, honey, you know I couldn't. I had to keep undercover. Oh, I suppose so. But, Freddie, I don't think it was right for you to throw that fight. What? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. But, well, now the money's almost all gone, and it's not going to be so easy for you to get any more matches. No, I suppose not. So, all in all, it looks to me like you made a mistake. I knew that Gloria was right. I kept thinking how I'd let down all the guys who'd rooted for me and worked for me and counted on my winning the title. There was only some way to make up for it. Then I had an idea. Why not get a rematch with Donovan? Sure, fight Donovan again. And this time it'd be on the square. No matter what, he'd get the licking he deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, we're broadcasting the main event of the evening now, a 15-round rematch between fighting Chuck Donovan and the challenger Freddie Michaels for the lightweight championship of the world. This fight was mine, every second of every round. I was gonna be champ. It was a cinch. It was all sewed up. This was the round. But then, then I heard that voice at the ringside. I couldn't believe my ears. Gloria.
Glory was yelling for the champ. It was Glory, I was sure. But I had to look before I could be certain. I had to look. Freddy dropped his guard. The champ swung in and the kid's down. It looks like, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, it's a knockout. And Donovan retains the crown. You think the story is over, don't you? But wait, fate takes a hand. Wait for the unexpected. And now for the surprising conclusion of Rematch, a Hamilton Whitney production starring Jackie Cooper, written by Robert Libet and Frank Burt, and directed by Frank K. Danzig. So I got knocked out. When I looked for Gloria, Donovan smashed a right to my chin and I went down for the count. But at least it was honest. I'd tried and lost. At least I'd made up for the dive I'd taken the first time we fought. And I could live with myself again. Only while I was getting ready to leave my dressing room that night, a tall, thin guy with a sour-looking face came in and tagged me on the shoulder. Hello, Michaels. Who are you? I'm Jackson, the athletic commissioner. I was watching you. There was some mighty funny business going on. You deliberately dropped your guard and let Donovan in. Yes, Michaels, you threw that fight. I saw it. And I think that's going to finish you with a ring. Finish you for good. Rematch starred Jackie Cooper. Listen again soon for another of your favorite motion picture stars in a drama of The Unexpected. This program was transcribed in Hollywood.